over the past few years, my body has transformed. Lately, I've just been feeling and looking the best I think I've ever looked. And when I narrowed it down to what I'm really doing differently, it came down to these three things. And I'm gonna share those three things with you in this video. As you can tell by my channel, Rundown with Rachel, I like to keep things short and to the point. Um, and if you're new here, each week I create content around the things I'm doing to create a healthier, happier lifestyle. Really the things that just help me. This uh, channel in itself has been therapeutic for me and it's one of the reasons why I just make a video every week. All right, so the first thing I did to completely transform my body is stop doing intense workouts. I used to do high intensity interval training just about every day. Sometimes I'd do two a days. I had this gym I went to, I loved it. I felt like I had these great workouts, but I would notice that whenever I would pause my workouts, I actually felt better. I was trimmer. I, I, that's, that's kind of the look I go for, <laughs> looking trim. Um, my, I just felt better. And it had me going down a different path of, you know what, I probably should try something different. High hit training was hurting my knees. I was sore all the time. It just didn't seem like it was a good long-term plan. Then I ended up having to get a surgery and could only resort to walking. That's when I was completely sold that I had to do something more low impact. That ended up taking me on a completely different journey of low, low impact workouts and I am a believer. And if I could buy stock in this shift that I believe we're gonna see where people, especially women, especially women, are moving towards low impact workouts and seeing even better results, I believe that's where we're going. So the big thing was low impact workouts for me transform my body. It reduced the inflammation. It also reduced, it also helped to balance my hormones. I think when I was doing those intense workouts, it affected my cortisol. I was hungry all the time. I believe I would out eat my workouts. So although, you know, a good workout of course can like improve your metabolism, I would end up overdoing it on the eating front. And as somebody that, you know, has a history of food issues, I needed to make sure I fed myself. And I just think it just threw my equilibrium out of whack. It's the best way, the most simple way to put it. Not only from a hormone perspective, but from a diet perspective and also the quality of my joints and my body was just, it was taking a beating from those workouts. That was one of the biggest things, one of the best decisions I've ever made to now get the physique I want and feel great in. The second major thing that's really helped my body transform to a way that I feel and look better than I ever have has been clean intermittent fasting. Yes, clean intermittent fasting. We've all heard of intermittent fasting where you basically have a window of time where you don't eat and then a window of time where you do eat. There's different ways that you can approach this way of life but with clean intermittent fasting, during those hours you're not eating, you're not having anything but black tea, coffee, or water. Not water with lemon, not a piece of gum, not athletic greens, not cinnamon in your coffee, nothing. Clean intermittent fasting is only black tea, black coffee, or water during those fasted windows. And then um, you, know, you can you know, eat based on what you prefer to eat during your eating window. By doing clean intermittent fasting, it's made it easier for me to fast where I don't feel these crazy hunger pains during the fasting state. In general, intermittent fasting, especially clean intermittent fasting, has helped manage my blood sugar. It's helped me manage, improve my relationship with food. And when I do eat, I, I don't overdo it. As somebody who used to wake up and first thing in the morning, first thing I did was put together a smoothie bowl and eat first thing in the morning and be hungry throughout the day. I'm now somebody that can wait till 2 p.m. even to eat and um, feel great and be more productive and feel more energized. And in general, it's helped manage my blood sugar, helped me felt better, feel better overall, and I'm so, I'm so thankful to learn about clean intermittent fasting. Um, there's a book that somebody had recommended to me a while back called Fast, Feast, Repeat. If you're looking into clean intermittent fasting, start there. Download it on Audible, get the book, whatever you gotta do. Or even just check out some podcasts where the author is on it. That was pivotal for me to improve my fasting approach, make it easier, make it more effective. One of the best things about intermittent fasting is 
I don't deprive myself at all. If I want a cookie, I have a cookie. If I want chips, I have chips. Over time, as I've practiced intermittent fasting, I've become somebody that will turn away a brownie or turn away a cookie because I don't feel like it. So it's really helped my kind of intuitive eating and be, you know, just be in tune with what I want to eat in the first place, which has been revolutionary. So even though I look and feel better than ever, I don't have to compromise what I want to eat, which is heaven. I could never have dreamed of this. And although I touched on it, learning about blood sugar has helped me tremendously with the way I eat and, and ultimately has transformed my body. There's an Instagram account called The Glucose Goddess where you can learn a lot more about this. Highly recommend that, but I'm mindful about what sugar I consume because I know that it can create blood sugar spikes, which affect my energy levels and ultimately also affect your fat storage. So I think having that tidbit, having an understanding of that, even, even at a small degree has been very helpful. Um, in short, I don't start meals with sugar. Um, I learned this from the glucose goddess. I typically start a meal with a salad, ideally a salad with ACV. And that's been just a game changer, especially with my energy levels and, and, and basically improving my satiation as well. Here is a, the last major thing. So far we have low impact workouts, intermittent fasting and blood sugar management. And this last one is something I'm practicing more and more and seeing the results of it more and more and the magic of it more and more. And that's the practice of body visualization. This is something I learned years ago from an old Susan Powder video. And Susan Powder was a popular aerobics instructor in the 80s and early 90s. My mom had an old VHS and I discovered it when I was a teenager. At the end of it, there was this meditation that Susan Powder walked the group through and it was a um, guided body visualization technique. And she talked about how if you ate right, if you worked out and you did this visualization technique, you would get the body you wanted. And 14 at the time, I think it was 14, and having uh, watched The Secret that was popular around that time, or I think around that time, I had known about manifesting from a very early age. I was like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. And at that time, I was running like crazy. I wasn't losing any weight. I ended up starting to incorporate this body visualization technique and suddenly all my excess weight dropped. Um, and then I went down a really dark, dark path of an eating disorder, but you know what? It, it, it worked at that time on some level. Um, so I, I always remembered that and every now and then I'd bring it, bring it back in, but I've been incorporating it more and more, especially as I learn about Dr. Joe Dispenza's teaching and I'm probably going to be doing some of his coursework, but that is, I think, one of the magic bullets. Yes, you still need to eat well. Yes, you need to work out. Definitely give yourself a cookie, you know? Don't deprive yourself. But the body visualization technique, I really believe wholeheartedly aligns your mind with your body and all the cells and basically instructing them on what to do and where to go. Hypnosis and meditation in itself has been very powerful for me. And I could probably include that on a list of things that have helped me transform my body, but. In a nutshell, it's been these three major things. Doing low impact workouts, clean intermittent fasting with some emphasis on blood sugar management, and then body visualization. Those are, those are the three things that have transformed me. And it's led me to realize that if there is any message I want to relay to anybody, it's that you can have it all. You can have the ideal body that you want you can eat what you want and you'll be surprised to find that when you actually look at what you actually want to eat, it's not what you think it is. It's not going through the McDonald's drive through You may be surprised that that's actually not, you know, when you let yourself eat what you want, that's probably not going to be it. However, I can support people to discover that, even just to share the possibility that it's possible as somebody that spent way too much time and money doing it all the wrong ways. These are the three paramount things that have worked for me. If you think this video has been helpful or you think a friend would appreciate seeing this, I encourage you to share it. And if you have stories of your own, please be sure to share in the comments below. That is the goal of this channel. I don't know how, but we get so many comments and they're all so beautiful and I learned so much and it's definitely directed me to learn about so many other beautiful things and I'm so appreciative. So with that, I really appreciate you watching and I hope to see you next time.